What's up everybody? So today is Sunday, April 4th. Yeah, I just decided to, it's been a really busy day. Obviously it's Easter, so happy Easter to everybody, but had family come in town for a while. It's been a long day, been hanging outside a lot today because it's just beautiful. I think it's like 73 degrees right now. And I thought I didn't have a whole lot to do this evening. So I was like, I'm gonna come out here and try and catch some crappie. There's a little pond that's probably 10 minutes away from my house. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go hit this pond. I know there's some pretty good sized crappie over here. as well as some pretty decent sized bass too. And I was like, I'm just gonna come out here and throw a line out, enjoy the beautiful weather. And uh, even if I don't catch anything, it's still gonna be fun to be out here, so. First cast of the day. And it's kind of windy, not too terrible. Water over here is pretty shallow. Lots of sticks on this side. Usually I'm fishing on the side that's just to my left. I'll show you guys here in just a second. Looks just like kind of a muddy bottom, like nothing too crazy. But usually I'm fishing this side over here, right in that area, there's like a point. There's like a point that kind of runs back up into a river. And then, or like a little creek, I say river. A little creek, and then there's this point that's right here. That usually has good fish to jump in. It's hard to get to though, because there's a tree, a small tree that sticks out right there on that point. So you either get, well, I've seen so many people come in here and get all twisted up in that tree. But um, right now the water clarity is like, mm, it's kind of muddy. It's hard to see. Let me take my sunglasses off. Yeah, it's pretty pretty murky. Um, I think right here on the bottom from what I'm seeing is like soft mud bottom. Like I said, there's a lot of like twigs and limbs down in here that I can see on the edge. Usually this spot is a good spot. I'm actually throwing a white grub tail, solid white grub tail. I think it's a three inch. Ooh, got bit by something right there. It was a small fish though, very small fish. But anyway, right here is like a drainway. So like where I said earlier, this spot right here is like a little creek where I'm assuming it runs off and drains into that spot over there to keep these neighborhoods from flooding. And then runs off into here or vice versa. Because I'm pretty sure every time it floods, it always runs into here and down through here and follows the creek on the other side. They actually had to do some work to these things over here like three, four years ago now. And uh, just because it kept flooding really bad, the road over here kept flooding. So they ended up coming in and blocking the road off for like, I don't know, it felt like forever. That's what I'm doing now, throwing a little wacky rig. Uh, with, I think it's KVD Okeechobee Crawl, a little, like, stick bait. Here's one. A 
Nice. Hell yeah. It's a good one too. Looks like it anyway. We're just going to ski it back on over here. Hell yeah. It's a good bass too. Hell yeah. to get the pliers on this one so black and blue might be the color might be the move he ate it though look at that big old bass Freaking awesome. Still, ha they're not spawned out yet here, but that's freaking sweet. Wonder how much it weighs. Let's get the old scale out and see if we can get a weight on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It is 3.13 pounds. That's awesome. We're going to go ahead and put them back. Alright. There he goes. That's awesome. So it was just a color change. Like I said, every time I can bring my wife out here, fishing with me it's always uh it's always black and blue i was throwing white on that thing just a little bit ago i was throwing white earlier and uh nothing getting you know a few small bites here and there but yeah and that fish inhaled that bait which is awesome pretty close to the bank too so i think i might move over just a little bit and uh ouch careful not to stick yourself so anyway this is the color if you guys can see it very well that's the color it's real blue on one side green what i would say like like pumpkin color not really pumpkin but green and uh i always do two o-rings on there just to help hold the bait on there a little bit better throw another one out all right so we made a little move we were right over here in this area um, wasn't getting anything a whole lot yeah I wasn't getting anything over there so I decided to make a switch it's probably to be a little windier if it is i apologize but this side over here is just sand and then probably 15 feet out it's like grass and some like vegetation underneath i don't know if it's that way right now still trying to catch us a crappie haven't caught one today but we did catch a three pound bass which is awesome it is 7 57 at, in the afternoon in the evening i should say in the evening at, it's getting dark um, but the wind finally started to calm down as you guys saw in the video that I caught two fish one was like one was I say like one was three pounds and the other one was like three inches <laughs> so it was fun but it was just great to be out here I'm gonna call it done for now because it's getting dark and I've got to go home and clean my house and get ready for the week um, but I think I might be out here again in the morning. I haven't gone out a whole heck of a lot this year, and so I need to change that. I just need to get out here and start getting after it, because if not, just the time is going to pass me by, and I'm going to miss out. I just wanted to um, 
mention something real quick before I forget. So the other day when I came out here and I made a video, um, I started talking about this thing. I had, so I had this idea. Um, I've noticed a lot of the places that I come fish a lot, ha typically they have a lot of just trash and debris and it just makes it look like trash. Um, and this place that I fish at in particular is a residential pond. And I can only assume that that is because they don't want just everybody overfishing the spots that they have for the people in the area. Plus, they don't want them, people just coming out here and leaving their old, you know, their old worm boxes or, you know, soda cans or beer cans or whatever um, laying around and just leave it out there to make it look trashy. Um, and it's not good for the wildlife. It's not good for the environment. Um, I've come out here for like two years and fished and at least once every time I come out here I'll find somebody's fishing line hang like tied up in one of these trees like this right here um, just just wrapped up and so it really bugs the crap out of me so I had this idea that um, you just go pick up a five gallon bucket I don't know if that's in frame or not but just a five gallon bucket and I think this one was like four or five bucks um, and you might even be able to find somebody who will donate five gallon buckets to you um, and when you go to your favorite fishing spots, your honey holes or whatever, take a five gallon bucket with you and spend the first five minutes after you reach the spot you're trying to fish, your desired location, and just pick up whatever trash is in that area. And just The goal is to just try and fill a five gallon bucket. You don't have to pick up the entire pond, but every time you go there, make sure you bring your five gallon bucket, pick up your trash, pick up the trash around you, and the idea is to get as many people involved with this as possible. If you happen to do that, make sure you're very careful about picking up like rusty hooks and all kinds of stuff like that because you don't wanna get tetanus. So proceed with caution when you're doing that. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable picking up an old rusty hook, don't. So if you do this, I would love to see you guys out doing your part and helping out. Um, tag me at Wild Outdoors TV on Instagram. Um, you might be able to do it on Facebook. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but also do hashtag five gallon challenge. Um, and I will post the hashtag somewhere in the video somewhere. Um, tag me in those. I'd love to see you guys getting out there and picking up and you know, I think together we can maybe put a dent in all the trash and debris around our areas and make these places look a lot nicer and more appealing to people to come and enjoy and tag your friends and your, your family or whoever else likes to get out and enjoy the outdoors. Tag them in it, bring them along with you. And, you know, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know I had a great time being out here. And if you guys, I don't like, if you guys haven't got a chance to get out, definitely just get out, just just go. Make an excuse, you make millions of excuses not to go. Make one good one to just get out and go, you know? And you, I promise you, even if you don't catch a whole lot of fish, don't go with the expectation of catching a lot of fish. Just go to get outside and spend time outside. It's beautiful out here. I mean, like this weather is now it's getting nice and cool. There's a little bit of a breeze. The water's getting calm. Heck, fish all night, who cares? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you guys liked it. Also, if you guys have any other videos that you guys would like to see in the future, uh, drop those ideas down in the comment section. And um, I hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.